615, and you're watching Muscle Sport TV, the most jacked and tanned show on the fucking internet. Joe Piatau here with your MSM Sports Shot. This episode is brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make sure you check out IronMagLabs.com right now to get all your bodybuilding, fitness, and sports supplement needs taken care of. The Cleveland Cavaliers, wow, has a team coming off three straight conference championships, one of them resulting in an NBA Finals win. Aren't there so much disarray? Have we ever seen this before with a, a team that's been that successful on the court? Um, it looks like Kyrie Irving is talking his way out of town. First of all, he was unhappy with the whole GM issue. Um, and I guess he had a right to be. I mean, this is a guy that has been on this team, was drafted by them uh, after LeBron left town and kind of carried that team for a while. Then LeBron comes back. They obviously succeed together. Uh, when Irving, when it seems to be they're both not on the court together outside of last year, uh, things didn't go well. First, obviously, they were rebuilding with Kyrie. Bring LeBron back, then Kyrie gets hurt that year. They lose in the championship round. Then they win, and then last year they lose again. But, you know, Golden State with uh, Durant, they weren't winning that series. It doesn't matter what the hell they did. That was just juggernaut, the Golden State team. So now uh, they don't really seem to make a lot of moves to better themselves. They get rid of their GM. A strange timing. Then Kyrie supposedly says, I want out. Um, so then it's leaked afterwards that he wants out because he doesn't want to be the non-number one guy anymore. He doesn't want to play in LeBron's shadow is basically what Kyrie Irving was saying. And now they're blaming um, LeBron's camp for letting out the whole information that he wanted to be traded and all of that. And then this little part afterwards does not look like that those two guys are going to be happily married anymore. So it looks like Cleveland has to do something with Irving, but they want a big, big king's ransom in return. They're not going to get it. And this is why. It's because teams know that Cleveland wants to trade Irving now. And I don't know. I, I, if I were them, I would keep him only because, and I'll tell you why, I think LeBron's gone after next year. They can give Irving the big money, the max $200 million deal kind of thing, max him out. Tell him to be patient maybe because if they get rid of him, then LeBron leaves. They're back to being the lottery-bound Cavs. Um, unless they play this really smart and get a lot of picks and move on from LeBron, which they could even think about dealing him at some point in time. You know, <laughs> I know it's crazy to even think about that, but it's not the worst case scenario in the world is to deal both of these guys for picks or tell Irving you'll outlast them again. You know, now you know. Don't worry about worry about next year. Listen, you just deal with it now. We'll 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 make sure that everybody's happy in the locker room. We got a, a, a title contending team here. Let's not fuck it up, all right? Let's think about the big picture. Don't think about the little picture. Talk him off the ledge a little bit. Maybe, you know, pat him on the head. Give him a few fucking lollipops. and Maybe he'll be happy. Him and LeBron together, it seems like it's going to be a problem. I think he can outlast them, though. Only because, say, listen, Irving, this was your town. It could be your town again. Just play it fucking patient, kid. He's 25. He deserves a king's ransom, but then you see a lot of teams aren't getting great value in trades right now. There's so many big moves going on in the NBA, and not a lot of teams are they're not getting really what the value of those players are if you look at it, only because they're holding their feet to the fire. If I were Cleveland, I would keep him and let LeBron go, maybe even dangle LeBron at the trade deadline if they're not having a great season, if you don't feel you're going to win the championship. Getting there, to me, it should be enough. Because if you lose to the Warriors, you got nothing to fucking lose sleep over. But maybe they can, you know, turn this around. They were saying, I read one thing, Kyrie for, um, you know, to the Celtics. You get Isaiah, you get Crowder, you get that, maybe that Brooklyn pick or that other pick they picked up in the Fultz deal. I still wouldn't do that. I like Kyrie. Leave him where he is. 
maybe you can get a King's Ransom for LeBron. How appropriate would that be? A King's Ransom for LeBron. Keep Kyrie. Tell him to shut up. Tell LeBron to shut up, too. Somebody needs to fucking talk to him as well. He's not the fucking owner and GM. I don't, you know, listen. Delivered, yeah. But you got to also, hey, come on. Let's go. Keep it fucking down. Be happy. That guy, without him, two years ago, you saw the team had no chance to win that fucking title. Once Durant came on board, it didn't matter. They were not winning that fucking series last year, Cleveland. Keep Kyrie is the fucking... The focus of this fucking video. Hey, musclesportmag.com slash subscribe. 32 bucks a year. Free shipping in the U.S. Starting August 16th, NFL Coast to Coast on Wednesdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Myself and Dave, Comerica Muscle Goys. Me in New York, him in L.A., hence the title of the show. And we will see you next time.